The first Monday in October brought the traditional start of the new term for the United States Supreme Court. Justices are scheduled to take on several controversial cases this term, and one of the first involves affirmative action at the University of Texas. The nine justices of the U.S. Supreme Court started their new term today. One case the court will hear involves the practice of considering race for college admissions. Abigail Fisher sued after she was rejected by the University of Texas at Austin. There were people in my class with lower grades who weren't in all the activities I was in who were being accepted into UT, and the only other difference between us was the color of our skin. But defenders of the practice say students are better prepared by a more diverse school experience. The best way to get to racial diversity is to consider race in an individualized way that looks at the whole applicant. The Defense of Marriage Act signed by President Bill Clinton is also facing numerous challenges. The law states that the federal government will only recognize traditional marriages, meaning no federal benefits, even where same-sex marriage is legal. Same-sex couples are denied hundreds of different rights and benefits that are provided to marry different sex couples under federal law. On the docket as well, whether to curtail parts of the historic Voting Rights Act of 1965. It mandates federal oversight for states with a history of voting discrimination when changing any rules for elections. Challengers say the law is outdated and unnecessary. A big lineup of cases that could change the landscape of civil rights in America. That UT admissions case is scheduled to come before the high court on Wednesday, October 10th.